Hello, I'm Joyce Stratton, a Middletown resident for many years, and I just finished lunch at the Main Cup. The Main Cup is a very exciting place to have lunch, especially since you're at the back room and you don't have any idea what that back room used to be, because this place where you, I am taping from is a place that has a great picture in Middletown, and the great part is that they serve great food. The beginning of the place where I am didn't serve food, it was a meat store. So what they served was fresh cut meat. And you came into the store and ordered what you want, and they would slice it before your eyes. And then it came to wrapping the package, it came with a big ball of string up the top, and you pulled down the string and wrapped it up in paper. And it was good stuff because you watched it being cut and it was specified to your order. And that was just the first part of this building. As you went on to another part of the building, was a place where they made ice cream. And they actually did make the ice cream. They brought in their own milk and prepared it for us in many flavors. You went to the ice cream place back through something called an alleyway to get there, and you had your choices of many flavors that they made themselves. And not only did they make it, they also had to work with preparing the food. I can remember my opportunity of being able to help them with their strawberries. I had pretty little, so I don't guess that was too much help. But the women of the business of Maine's, that's their last name, used to cap the strawberries. And of course, those strawberries went into the ice cream. So when you had fresh ice cream that was strawberry flavored, it was really fresh because it was done on the back porch right beside of where I'm sitting. They also made other flavors, and I think the two that were very popular were orange, pineapple, and grape nut. And some people still come and look for it. People came to this place for ice cream by the bus load. And I mean bus loads. They would drop them off and down the alley and wait their turn. My grandfather would scoop some of the ice cream, which was, of course, hand scooped. And he would say sometimes he would do that a thousand times. Not only did he have to scoop the ice cream, but it came in big tin cans put it down into the freezer, and when that was empty, you have to pick it up and take it to the back room and bring another can. So a thousand times, a little hard on the wrist, but he really did very well with it. There also was the back room where I had my sandwich today, and that was the, called the machine room. I think that was cold, too, and that's where they had to make all the energy that kept the meat cold and keep the ice cream going. So it was a very fascinating kind of place. And now it's just a lovely restaurant from the front to the back. How often do you eat here now these days? Whenever I can. And what are your favorites? My, my favorites are, as today, it was a tuna fish sandwich. Also, I like the, the crab soup. And I just like the atmosphere. And the gentleman that owns it is certainly very pleasant. It do also you, makes it enjoyable. Do you have um, any desserts here sometimes? Oh, yeah, that good stuff that you can get. What's that called? Volcano or something with the, the chocolate and the ice cream and then more ice cream and more chocolate. It's very rich and very good. It's nice to have somebody to share it with. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. And any comments about Middletown in general? Middletown is having their anniversary. That's pretty big for this year. It's 250 years old. And they're now reminding us of all the things that have changed since we started. Some of the houses are very old. Some of them are very young. We have both kinds, which makes it a very nice house. The transportation has been by these cars, and what I'm looking out the window, we have now closed off part of the street because we used to have parking on both sides. Now we only have parking on one side. But it's a very friendly kind of neighborhood, and the stores and the people are just all very friendly. The beginning and the end of our town still looks the same, even though they're businesses, but they kept them looking the same. Well, thank you very much for sharing all this. You're welcome. I enjoyed it. Thanks. If you enjoy content like this, please share it on Facebook. Like, comment, and share it. And if you own a business, join us.